Okay, so now you know where we're at. We're at the castle here at Michael Hearn's house, and I'm with my man Bryce. Bryce, I gotta tell you, brother, I am super impressed by the current physique that you're living in right now. It is ripped, and you look like Superman, dude. You're kind. No, I'm, I'm dead Actually, serious. <laughs> it, it's the truth. So it's very nice. So Bryce is a rock star. In the business world, he is an agent in Hollywood up there, and you're a busy guy, right? I am. What is your athletic background? What have you done? Growing up, I played soccer, football, in high school, pretty much once I hit college, I didn't play college sports. Okay. So did work start getting in the way of your physique development aspirations? Absolutely. Okay. Um, when I, when, when I, after I got out of school, I had to travel a lot. I needed to establish myself. I needed to establish right. myself in, in work and business. When I hit my 30s, I, I just came to the realization of something's got to change. I've, I've got to get better. I have to find a way to change my body. So and in your 30s, what? Early 30s, late 30s? Mid 30s. Mid 30s. So you're 35 years old and you're in, you're, how much are you weighing? How, how out of shape would you say you were at that time? I think I was couple hundred pounds and I was very out of shape because I was not I was not strong at a couple hundred pounds because I was traveling a lot I was I was indulging and in drinking wine with meals alcohol with meals not not a problem with alcohol thank God no. but you were living just, enormous yeah just a normal business absolutely life out there on the you road. know traveling you know getting the best of a lot of, of a lot of things the best restaurants right. the best foods but not understanding what the effects of it would be as I got older. Okay, all right. So what I'm trying to establish here, for those of you watching, you're wondering what the hell is he even getting at? I'm getting at the fact that you can change your body if you are using the right techniques, the right protocol, and you have the right person in your life to help guide you through this process. So with that being the topic of what we're talking about today, I'm gonna to talk about, so you train here with Mike. I do. You come to the house, and I see you, dude, lifting heavy amounts of weight. I mean, I am like legitimately impressed by the amount of strength you had because you had mentioned a minute ago that you were not strong for how much you weighed. So I'm gonna say that you're lighter now and stronger now than you've ever been. Absolutely. That's a good statement. Absolutely. Okay, so if I say anything that's not right, I want you to correct me. It's true. Okay, all right, so, and you're how old now? 45, I will be 46 in a week. 46 in a week. So at 46 years old, how would you rate your current physical condition compared to your entire life? I'm in the best shape of my life. Okay. So we've established at 46, Bryce is in the best shape of his life. And what would you attribute that to? I would attribute it to my diet. I would attribute it to studying under Mike and trusting in the diet is the foundation for everything I do and that basics work. Okay, so I heard two things that are really important for you guys to understand, trust and basics. You have to first of all trust the person that you're engaging with, whether it's Michael Hearn, whether it's whoever it is, you have to have a level of trust for that person based upon what? Why did you trust Mike? When you go to get a dentist or a doctor and you're in the office and the plant's dead, I don't wanna be in that office. Right. So, if I'm gonna go to someone to help me change my body, I need to see what they've done to themselves first and what they stand for. Okay. So the research that I did showed me that everything Mike has done, he's just gotten better. And when I met with him and I talked with him, I realized he just had a profound understanding of diet, a profound understanding of lifting, and that the two were intertwined in a way I didn't understand. Okay. So you trusted him because you saw an example, a living example of what was possible. Absolutely. Okay. And then you had the opportunity to speak with him and then heard the depth of knowledge behind that? Yes. Because you can look a certain way but not have any understanding beyond, you know, genetic capabilities or any of that. So with your research, you saw that there was a, an understanding of nutrition, an understanding of lifting, like you just mm -hmm. said and that was what took you to the next level with him. Yes. All right, so I'm just trying to walk you guys through this process here so you know what to look for and so you know what to understand as it relates to you looking for a person 
that is going to give you the direction so you can be in your healthiest body regardless of your age. So, can I interrupt? Yes, absolutely. Yep. I started with Mike when I was 39. Okay. I happened to be training at Gold's Gym. Mike was also there. I thought, wouldn't it be amazing to work out with Mike? Wouldn't it be amazing to just lift with someone who lifts like this? I researched him, I learned a lot about him, and I went to him and I said, I'm about to turn 40. I want to run at 40. Mm. I don't want to hit 40, have a bunch of drinks on my birthday, and feel like the rest is going downhill. That will not happen to me. Intention. That will not happen to me. That's huge. And I was, I was working out before, I just was using a different approach that would not get me to the level that I wanted to get to working with other, other folks. Okay. So I, I made a change to work with Mike and we achieved the goal that we set. And how long of a time? Started working out August 28th, was photo ready as a, looking like a 20 year old fitness model, December 21st, 2012. Four months. And yeah, because I saw the pictures when you went to Thailand or wherever and had those photos. Yeah, yeah no, and he did look like a 20 year old fitness model and he's heading back to that body right now again. And so, so there was a respect for the person living the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. There was respect for the knowledge. And then there was an actual advantage to what he had taught Absolutely. you because you got results when you weren't getting results elsewhere. You have to, I said, I'm running at 40 and I'm gonna buy into this. No matter what he says, I'm gonna do it. There you go. Was it hard? Sure, some things are hard. Yeah. But in the end, I, I realized the most important thing is that I wanna always be able to change my body when I wanna change my body. Not just have my body just be whatever it is. Right. And be one of those people who you always see, always yeah. doing the same monotonous things in a gym or whatever, and you they're, want a they're never changing. You want to result? Absolutely. So right. you have to have some intention, as you said, yeah. and you have to want to say, hey, in a certain period of time, 10 weeks, 14 weeks, whatever it's gonna be, I'm gonna get this result. Okay, so did you run at 40? Absolutely. I'm still, I, I, I'm, I, I ran at 40, and I'm sprinting at 46. Let's so go. now I'm sprinting at 50. See, here's what I love. Now, what you need to understand, see the passion building up as we start uncovering more. You know, Bryce first started out a little kind of, you know, mellow, but you see the passion building up because that's, you're bringing out real stuff inside of people. And this was my intention here on this video to not pump up Michael Hearn because God knows he pumps himself up enough as it is. And so do his million and a half followers, but no, no BS. I, I really want to expose you to an opportunity to have your life changed no differently than Bryce had his life changed because how much are you squatting now? Three, 400 pounds. Three, 400 pounds. Perhaps. How much are you deadlifting now? Three, 400 pounds. There's a big difference between three, 400 pounds. Get specific for me right now. What's the most? The most I've ever deadlifted is five, 500 pounds. Or the most I've ever squatted is again? 500 pounds okay. off an 11 inch box. See, I would have exaggerated okay. up. Okay, well, late, you know what I mean? That's my best. So. Did you ever imagine that you would be able to lift that much weight? Absolutely not. So is power bodybuilding a real, real thing? Yes. This video is done.